Hey Gemini, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you are new here. So this is going to be a bonus love reading. I did uh, do a Gemini love reading just a few days ago, but this one's going to be only for those of you who are single and you're only interested in new love. Okay, because I know that there are definitely a lot of people out there who are looking only for new love and that you're not interested in any past person that's coming into your reading and I know a lot of times that's what comes up so this is going to be a reading for singles and new love only so if you're not interested in anybody from the past if you don't have anybody from the past then this will be for you and we're going to ask spirit just kind of to tune us in to you know if this new love is coming in soon what time maybe a time frame what they'll be like uh, and anything else that wants to come up here okay so let's tap in here and see what comes through all right so spirit please tune me in to the energy for gemini sun moon rising venus for the viewer of this reading anybody who needs this message anyone looking for new love only who are single spirit what can you tell us today about how they will meet this person who this person will be um and anything else here i am getting a very fun energy okay i'm getting dancing is coming up so for some this could be a someone who dances um, or you are a dancer, but I'm getting this a very light kind of fun energy coming up so far Let's see spirit. Tell me about who this new love will be for Gemini this brand new love for Gemini I'm getting a vision of some of you're gonna meet this person while shopping at a clothing store um, Or you're going to be shopping at a clothing store to kind of like maybe you're focusing on your appearance you want to look good maybe or you're just going to be shopping and sort of renovating your life and your appearance and you're going to meet this person um yeah definitely very serendipitous okay i'm getting this will be something that will kind of come in out of the blue i'm picking up that you could date this person like again it's a very fun light energy you could date this person just casually um I'm hearing this is a connection for some of you out there if you have had a breakup um, this new person is going to help you to I'm also getting this could be somebody in the in the field of finance I'm seeing could be someone who works at a bank or a financial advisor maybe or something in that field um, but yeah this person if you have broken up with somebody or if you've been single for a while this person is going to help you I'm hearing to shatter the illusion of the past so shatter the illusion of maybe your ex or something that you were involved in. It's going to help you to get like a new, wow, the hierophant just flew out. Yeah, it's going to be a lesson for sure for you. It's going to help to shatter some type of illusion. Um, for some of you, this person and you are going to be very different because uh, I'm getting like Uranus versus Saturn. Something about, it could be Taurus energy we have here too with the Hierophant, but there might be something very different about the two of you. Either you are somebody who, when you meet this person again, there's like a different thing that they're bringing into your life, or you are doing this for them. Okay, it does feel that way. Let's see, tell me Spirit, or t Spirit, tell me a little bit more about Gemini and this new love that's coming in for Gemini. Something here about dating around and let me see spirit confirm this for me this new love coming in for Gemini can we tell me about this person the situation so there's gonna be a yeah okay six of swords reverse I'm seeing a vision of somebody trying to like tug at something and it's like they're not wanting to let go so I'm not sure if this is something to do with you or them. There might be something to begin with in this new connection where someone is having maybe a hard time letting go of some 
traditions in there like maybe there's something about again the two of you being different or if if it's not that there could be some obstacles involving family um where yeah i do feel this could be a connection where you're from different cultures ace of wands for some this is going to be a different uh someone from a different culture different background different um upbringing than you something like that here and i think that there's going to be some resistance you could find that when you meet this new person you both i don't want to say it's like a challenging thing but it's going to feel like a spark you know it's going to feel like it's a fun passionate spark here with the ace of wands but there could be i'm, I'm hearing germany as well that could be, mean something for somebody netherlands and germany um For some of you, this is going to be after a long time. So either you have been single for a very long time or this person has been single for a very long time. And I'm hearing that it's going to stir a lot of feeling. It's going to stir a lot of old feelings maybe or um, stir some things up that may feel initially a little bit uncomfortable. What is it going to stir up, Spirit, for Gemini in this new love? I'm also seeing a peacock here. I'm getting that this could be somebody that you meet um, at a party or, and again, something about like in the public, you're, you're shopping or you're going to a party or your community. Could even be like a friends of friends situation where someone knows this person and you meet because of that. Okay. I'm also getting that you could meet this person at the airport while traveling. And as I say that, there's a plane going. Uh, I hear the plane in the sky right now. Um, let's see, Gemini, who is this new person, new love coming in for Gemini? Yeah, I keep getting this message about like, either you've been dating around or they've been dating around. There's different versions here or different people, but it's like something about bouncing around or dating around, trying to find the one or trying to find somebody who's compatible with you. And, um... Yeah, for this, for this new love for you, Gemini, it kind of feels like a bit up in the air, I guess because you probably haven't met them yet, but um, it feels like this will be an experience. This will be a love that you will either want to move forward or it's going to be an experience for you because of the fact that you could be different or because of the fact that it's going to be some somehow a different love. Like, okay, we have here Void, of course, Moon. At the bottom, we have Mercury retrograde reinvention i'm hearing the song just like just like magic is it just like i think it's by pink just trying to think of that song okay Anyway, let's see here. So what else, Spirit, about this new person that's coming in for Gemini? Yeah, so when you meet this person, it's going to feel like you've been waiting. Like I said, you've been waiting for this for a while. Okay, either you both have been waiting for this type of connection for a while. You both have been waiting to meet the one for a while. It's like, the, like I said too here, Mercury retrograde, like something is different or reinvented when you meet this person. It's going to feel like it's bringing something new and fresh to the table for the two of you. So tell me then, Spirit, let's look at the potential then of this new connection. What's going to happen moving forward if we have, I mean, this is not set in stone, but let's just see. What is the potential of it moving forward? Tell me a little bit more about the Hierophant and anything else for this new love for Gemini that they need to know. The person could be a water sign, okay, or there's a lot of water and depth here that it's like again i keep getting you're going to touch the surface here but there's more to the story so that could be where you just meet and then you kind of from there you figure out if you want to keep going and, and you know keep getting to know each other but there's going to be more than meets the eye it's a situation where um yeah there's more here to the story 
So what is the potential moving forward of this connection here for this new love for Gemini, please, Spirit? We have reconciliation. Wow, as I'm asking about a new love, we have reconciliation and then we have release your ex. But see, this is where I'm getting that someone is going to have to first release an ex uh, let your friends help you. So, and again, you could meet this person through mutual friends, um, or this is going to be someone who even you know in your circle. Yeah. Someone here with the release your ex and the Mercury retrograde. Yeah, I'm hearing being fearless, okay, being fearless and bold. So to kind of summarize this, this will be either one or two of you or one or both of you are having to sort out some family stuff first with the Six of Swords reversed, having to sort out maybe a previous connection. Um, and when you come together, it's going to once again sort of feel different to where you bring something new to this person's life or they bring something new to your life. And one of you may have something from the past or you may have it's a sticky situation i'm hearing so And I did say too, this person could help you to overcome somebody else or to like get over another uh, an ex. And that's still what I'm getting here. It's like this will be with this Ace of Wands, an opportunity that's going to bring something different to the table. But someone here is going to have to make sure that they've cleared their energy from the past first. So let's get a few more for the outcome then. What is the outcome or potential spirit of this connection, please, for Gemini? Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, Spirit, tell me about this. The outcome between the two of you. Yeah, same message here. I'm getting that you will, I'm hearing you spin my world around with the Queen of Wands. So this person will be very attracted to you because of your essence somehow or because of your energy. And I think that um, you also, with the Queen of Swords reversed here, Gemini, are going to be in a position where you feel more confident in yourself when you meet this person. You feel more confident in who you are. You feel like you've been able to clear the past. You feel like you've been able to maybe put the past to rest. Um, you feel like you've been able to even um, kind of heal a lot of communication issues or issues to do with your self-worth, you know? So you're going to feel like you're ready for this when it comes in. It is going to be very, like, I'm getting a lot of fire here. So either very passionate or very much going to give you a new spark, new confidence. Could be somebody who facilitates this growth for you in your lo love life to where you feel more confident in yourself and it helps you to get that back within, within your life and within yourself, okay? This person could meet you at a library I'm getting. I don't know if we go to libraries anymore, but I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing this could be somebody who you meet when you're still learning a lot about yourself or someone who you could go to school with, I'm seeing as well, or someone who kind of helps you to grow as an individual and vice versa. And that's why we have the Hierophant here, okay? So let's get any final messages then. Just to keep it kind of short, is there any final message spirit about this new love for Gemini and what they need to know about the outcome or the advice or how to recognize this person. How will they kind of, you know, what's going to happen here? I'm seeing around Christmas time there could be something happening. Christmas or New Year's. Some of you are going to go to a New Year's party with this person. New Year's Eve party. Okay. Any final message here, Spirit, for Gemini about this new love? I'm hearing be your true self. Yeah, so Queen of Wands. They're going to be inspired by that within you and you also want to be. <laughs> Look at this, Uranus. Yeah, that's what I said before. So there's something about like just be yourself, just be you. 
Um, this person could be somebody who either one or both of you are very spiritual or you bring a new perspective to each other's lives. So the Spirit's saying to be yourself, okay? Someone's come out of a difficult time and um, the Uranus is the shakeup. Someone sees you as a guiding light. They see you as someone who could bring something new to, the, to their life and you do as well. So they want you to just don't hold back on being you, okay? Don't hold back on being yourself, especially if you have done that in the past, in past relationships, if you haven't been yourself, if you've been hiding who you really are, if you, especially if you had to follow some type of structure or you felt that you were confined by, you know, society or something like that, I feel spirit saying that this is going to be an opportunity for you to really just kind of be your bold, charismatic, confident self with the queen of wands okay so let's get any potential timing here or dates that are important with this new love for i keep wanting to say virgo so it could be a virgo any potential signs spirit any potential dates or timing about this new love for gemini please i'm hearing saving the last dance um, let's see here. It's like something about it will feel like you've been waiting for each other. I keep getting that here. Okay, I have two cards that flew in the ground, so let me grab them. But we do have here blue moon someday. So I don't know if we have a blue moon at some point, but it could be a blue moon or it could happen just suddenly. One day it's going to happen. Again, something spontaneous with Uranus here too. We have here self-care. The best way to pass the time while you were gone, I created this masterpiece. We have create your future with visualization, law of attraction. So manifest this person, call them in. Um, again, I'm hearing that the journey of self, the journey of your self discovery, the journey of your own growth, is going to make is going to help to collide you with this person. So as you grow within you, as you grow with, as an individual, it's going to definitely for those of you also who are on a spiritual path, it's like the more that you grow, the more that you learn about yourself, the closer you get to this person. Leo is coming up here again. So anything else spirit? Who is this person? I'm sorry, any other signs or dates for Gemini's new love. We have Aquarius. <laughs> Looks such strong Uranus energy. So definitely strong Aquarius. You could have some Aquarius in your chart or they're definitely they definitely have Aquarius in their chart here. I kind of think it's more of you, but could be either one. You both are definitely going to be different. Okay, any other messages for Gemini in this new love? Some of you could be into witchcraft or you're, something's mysterious about you. This person sees you as mysterious. We have, yeah, self-mastery, see? So something definitely about self-mastery first. We have December. Yeah, so Christmas time, this could happen, definitely. Um, 444, foundation, stability, comfort, and home. So this is going to be a focus on creating that first for your life. So one final piece of advice for you. Virgo, one final piece of advice for, I'm sorry, did I say Virgo again? Gemini, I hope I haven't been saying Virgo. It's definitely something with Virgo here. Gemini, any advice for your new love here, new love connection? For some, this is going to be an outdoorsy person or you're going to go camping a lot. Um, something about, I'm seeing somebody camping. Find a way to let it all out. Yes, Aquarius, shaking things up. Something about like, just go for it, just do it, just let it all out, just have fun, just be bold, just even if you meet this person and you're kind of wondering, should I go for it? Definitely with the go for it here with the Queen of Wands. Um, and like I said in the very beginning, it's going to help you to, to find yourself again. This person is going to help you to find yourself again or to um, kind of reclaim your power in a way. So this new love will be really healing for you. Okay, 
One more. One more advice for Gemini and this new love spirit. I am seeing a vision of somebody, this is just a metaphor, but I'm seeing somebody drowning in a pool and then the person comes in and saves you from drowning. So, don't let the external dictate the internal too little too late yeah for some it's going to be that you have again left behind something else first okay you could even have two people who come back at the same time or i mean you could have an ex here and then you could have a new love too but i think that it's maybe a too little too late situation and this is why you're going to kind of step into the queen of wands and say that you um know better now you've learned better now it's like you're not going to be drowning in the pool anymore it's like someone's going to either not save you really because i think you can save yourself but they're either going to help to save you because they help to bring you out of an ex-partnership um or you kind of save yourself in a way it's like you have been letting maybe the circumstances around you affect you and you're going to let it all out you're just going to shake it up and that's how you're going to collide with this new person and you're going to either teach them that too or they're going to help you with that as well so anyway i hope that this reading could help gemini thanks for tuning in and um yeah take care and lots of love